And I think the greatest thing that we could ever experience is the love of Christ. Look at this passage of scripture in Ephesians 3. It's one of my favorites. It says this, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp, watch this, how wide, how long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may fill to the measure of all the fullness of God. I love that part that says this, that this love that surpasses knowledge This is what I was talking about. There's this idea that the love of Christ being so captured by the love of Christ, experiencing the love of Christ is actually greater than any knowledge that you would ever have because it's the affections that leads us to Jesus, that, that, that we desire to walk in these rhythms, that we desire to enter in this new way with Jesus is the affections. 1 Corinthians 5.14 says this, for Christ's love compels us. Not our duty, not because we have to, but the love of Christ compels us. And Romans 5.5 says this, you might be saying, well, how do I get this love? Well, Romans 5.5 says, God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. God's love is poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who's given to us. You know, I just want to stop right here for a minute. And I just want to ask you simply, I don't think we should go any farther than you would say, I want that. If Christ's love compels us and it's the love of Christ that causes me to be in a deeper relationship and to step into these rhythms and these type of things, Jake, like you've been saying, then, then I need that. And if it truly is poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, then then God, God, I want, to, I want to open up my heart to that. And so would you just, wherever you sit, you might be with your family, in your living room, you meet by yourself, I don't know where you are, but would you just open your hands like this? I just want to lead us in a time of prayer. And I know this is coming through the TV, but I'm believing right now in faith, recording this, that God is going to do something unique in you and through you. So Holy Spirit, right now, wherever people are at, as noisy as the room might be or whatever's going on, I know people are saying, God, I want your love and I want your love to compel me. And God, I have the Holy Spirit. So God, I pray right now that I would receive all that you have for me when it comes to love. God, so that I would experience the love of Christ even now. And I wouldn't just experience God, but I would, but I would know what that's like. And that is what would compel me to be in relationship with others. So Holy Spirit, Fill us now with your love. God, we thank you that it's a promise. So Jesus, we receive that even now. Even now. Amen. Amen. Well, you know what? I believe that God did that in some of your lives, that you are stepping into a new season of love, experiencing the love of Christ. Don't be surprised that when you go to the store today or tomorrow or to get coffee, that you'll see somebody and you'll, your heart will be like warmed because you see that person. You're like, I don't know. I feel compassion. That's the heart of Jesus. I don't know. I feel like I want to step in and help. That's the heart of Jesus. I don't know why those people are seem to be mean to that person checking out. I want to actually tell that person, hey, I just want you to know you're seen, you're loved, you're valuable. That's the heart of Jesus compelling you to live the life that God wants you to live.